Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamisha, the Codepreneur, as well as your transformational coach. Keeping it raw, real, and relatable here on my channel, helping you to transform, not just spiritually, academically, but also professionally. So today, I want to take you guys inside my house, right? I got my little one here, and we are going to just show you guys a little bit on pediatric development and um, I just want to take you guys through just the simple strategy on how you can approach and tackle pediatric. I already know. And yes, that's my little one <laughs> in the background. Um, but yeah, I feel like a lot of people struggle with pediatrics. And to be honest, that was my struggle too in school. Like that was the hardest thing. Are you coming up? She's coming up here, guys. Um, yeah, hi. And that was like the hardest thing for me was really understanding how to study and approach pediatrics. So what I want to do is I want to take you guys just through um, a quick snippet and give you some tips on how to bet a pro. Sorry, I have my little one here crawling all over me. <laughs> Where are you going, mama? Come on. Come on. <laughs> so, yeah. So here we go. We are going to jump right into it. All right. So I want you to think of survival, right? What you, what needs to happen okay what skills need to be developed for survival so i want you to think of primitive reflexes for example right you want to think of sucking right the baby needs to be able to survive and how the baby's going to be able to survive is by eating right so that sucking reflex is going to just be automatic because that's going to help with survival same thing with like the parachute reflex, right? If you're going, if you're about to fall, the first thing that happens is you put your hand out to, to, to protect yourself, right? So I, when you're first approaching, you want to think of survival. What are automatic um, milestones or development that is required to help her survive? So how about we look at it from this frame? to think of it as if you're going up steps okay so what i want to do i want to take you guys to my whiteboard and i want to just give you a visual of what i mean when you're going uphill or looking at it from going up steps right so of course this is just like a general breakdown there's definitely a little bit more in between each thing but i want to give you um a good understanding on when you're approaching pediatric development, when you're looking at the reflexes, when you're looking at milestones, you want to look at it as, uh, like I mentioned before, what's the survival. This is like your primitive reflexes. This is what needs to be um, involuntary. And then you're going to move into what is voluntary. Okay. So the first thing to look at is from zero to two months, you want to think of in this stage, you're looking at head turns, head control. Okay. Why? Because um, think of it this way. As a newborn baby, it's important that if you are lying down, you need to be able to turn your head. It's a safety, right? If you are eating, it's important that you have proper head control so you can tilt your head. So you can see where I mentioned about the survival. I talked about, you know, the importance of the this, this sucking um, reflex and rooting, right? Those are all primitive uh, reflexes, but they're all necessary for survival. So from zero to two months, um, head control, right? Now, mind you, this is more motor development than I'm showing you guys here. So the focus right now is just like motor development, just for the example. So the first thing I said is head control. So when this is like the first level, when you go up this step, now you're looking at rolling, right? This is being able to turn, um, rolling over sometimes at from three to five months, it's like midway and then it's a complete, you know, roll over. So that's important. So as you can see, we went up this step. 
Now the next step is six to eight months. So at six to eight months, you're looking at sitting and crawling, all right? And then as we continue from, sit, from sitting to crawling, now you're going up another step. Now you're looking at crawling and supported standing, which is also called cruising. This is when the your um, infant is holding on to furniture and they're starting to kind of get their bearings. All right, this tends you tend to see this from like nine to eleven months. Again, like I said, some kids can reach these milestones faster than others, but you want to have a general understanding of what is considered normal. Then the next step, moving up, so. From crawling and standing, you want to move up to around like 12, 12 months or 14 months. Now you're looking at standing and taking first steps. So you're looking more at um, unsupported standing and taking those first initial steps. Um, some kids at 12 months are already walking, right? So then from, let's say, 15 months and up, now you're looking at walking and running and jumping and all of those other great motor skills. So you see how I did this? So when you are studying and when you are learning, you always want to look at what is normal first, and then you want to think of what's abnormal. So if I am a six-month-old and, and you know that what is considered normal at six months is to be able to sit and crawl, but that um, child is not able to roll, now you know that you have an abnormality. So now you need to figure out, okay, what are the interventions that needs to happen in order to get this child from that abnormal state to that normal state, all right? Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Thank you. In my course, starting with Okuda, I do go into this in more detail in how to um, approach studying, how to study effectively, and how to break down these concepts more. If you like this video, definitely go ahead and comment, and don't forget to subscribe as well. If you're interested in my course, just go ahead and look in the description. It is there. Study with Okuda. Be sure to get your hands on that. All right, I hope that this was helpful. And one thing I do want you to leave me with is go ahead in the comment, tell me what do you think pertaining to my step here, what age do you think my daughter is based on what she has shown you guys? All right, all right, till next time, bye-bye.